Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. I hope you are having a fantastic Friday. If you are new around here and this is your first weekly beauty chit chat, this video goes up pretty much every Friday and it's just an opportunity for me to casually chit chat about all of the fun, frivolous, completely unnecessary beauty products that I was personally loving or obsessing about over the course of the past week. As always, I have a fun little lineup of things to share from this past week, and I will list and link everything in the description box right below this video. If you'd like to know where to purchase these items, read up other people's reviews, look at in-depth ingredient information, yada, 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 um, check out that description box, uh, except today. <laughs> Maybe wait to check that description box until a little bit later on this afternoon. Um, I'm gonna be leaving for work here right after I upload this video um, so yeah uh, listen I have a little bit of a life update for you guys uh, I have been showing what I've been up to this past week over on Instagram and I've gotten a lot of questions about why I'm back to doing floral work um, if you're new here I owned my own floral design company for um, well over a decade i think it was 12 years at the time that i decided to shut it down um and there's there was a reason for me doing that and there's a reason for me going back to doing it again especially with how um how kind of like jaded i was with it when i made the decision to shut everything down um, I want to actually do a separate video about that because I know some people are not interested in that particular topic. So I think I'm going to try to, on Sunday, film just a little life update for you guys. So for those of you that are interested, I'll kind of explain everything on, uh, on Sunday. Um, but yeah, uh, things have definitely changed around here and um, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how this goes, but... Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and dive into the uh, into the faves from this past week. So I'm going to start with perfume. I am now working with other people um, and I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful about the types of fragrances that I'm wearing when I go in. Because listen, even though I work with flowers all day, um, when you have a whole like massive variety of a lot of a, diff a lot of different florals and greens, it doesn't always necessarily smell the best. <laughs> I know that sounds like kind of obnoxious because flowers are beautiful, right? They all smell good. But when you have just a massive melange of like a lot of different things, it can be, it can definitely not smell as good as you might expect. So anyway, I'm still wearing perfume to work, but I wanted to be a little bit more mindful because I do have other coworkers. And um, so I went in with the Clean Reserve Skin Scent this week. I've actually not applied this yet today, so let's do it together. First of all, the atomizer on this one is, does not work properly, so look at this. Ooh, it's like a stream. Oh, I hate it. It's dripping down my arm. Oh, I don't like this. I, have, I feel like I have to catch it and like try to distribute it. But my, by the way, my other clean reserve atomizers work properly. I think just this one was a dud here, but this fragrance is one of those, um, it really is a skin-like scent in that you really have to get close to me in order to really smell what I'm wearing. Um, so this is a great scent if you are around people that are maybe a little bit more sensitive to fragrance. Um, I actually learned yesterday that I don't necessarily have to be quite as mindful about what I'm wearing because my primary coworker that works right next to me actually doesn't have a sense of smell. So a florist with no sense of smell, which I think is absolutely hysterical. But yeah, so she's like, I don't know, wear what you want, I don't care. <laughs> so anyway, but I thought I'd be a little bit more like, you know, sensitive this week coming in as the new girl on the team. So, um, but this is a beautiful fragrance regardless. If you, again, are looking for something that's a little bit more subtle, but still beautiful and polished, this would be it. It has a slight hint of floral to it and kind of a nice musky vibe overall but it's not offensive. It is, um, it's not a fragrance that has a ton of projection to it. So, but I smell it, right? Like when I'm wearing it, it kind of wafts up throughout the day and it's just really beautiful. I love the Clean Reserve fragrances. Sparkling Sugar and Radiant Nectar are two of my other favorites from them, but this is a great line that really performs extremely well. So if you're in the market, that's a great perfume. All right, let's talk some skincare items next. 
First of all, um, I started using the Glow Recipe Strawberry Smooth BHA and AHA Salicylic Acid Serum again. This is actually my second bottle of this stuff. I really like the texture of this for daytime, so I actually have been applying this underneath my, um, my makeup every single morning. I have started dealing with a few breakouts here and there. Um, I think it's just from you know, a little bit of stress, you know, like starting to go through some changes right now. So um, I think my skin's just reacting a little bit, but this almost immediately calms those few breakouts that popped up and um, they already look better by today. They kind of started popping up on Tuesday. And again, by this morning, I'm actually filming this on Friday. So um, by this morning, like for the most part, like I had a little guy here, you can still kind of see him, but like it's pretty much mostly gone. But I love this all over my face because it really does help to keep my pores clear. I do have enlarged pores. Um, I have very oily skin. And so, you know, my pores tend to get clogged very easily. So a product like this that is really gentle and non-drying does a fantastic job of keeping my skin looking as clear as it possibly can. So um, it's gentle. Also, the, um, the AHAs that are in here are going to help with surface cell turnover. So I don't know. I just think this is a really great like daytime product and it's it wears well underneath my makeup. So love that. Also, ugh, I'm kind of sad I finished it, but this really is a favorite, you guys. Um, I'm going to be repurchasing this during the upcoming Sephora uh, Fall Savings event. Um, I know that usually happens at the beginning of November. Paula's Choice is available now at um, Sephora. I usually order from their website because they almost always have a 20% off sale or so, some kind of sale going. But um, I'm going to see how far I can get to potentially getting to Rouge again. I don't think I'm going to make it and it's not going to be necessarily my goal. But if if Sephora is going to give me the same count discount that Paula's Choice was gonna give me anyway, I might as well just buy it at Sephora. So I'll be without this for uh, for a couple weeks here because it's obviously, it's finito, I finished it. I love this 10% azelaic acid booster here. This also, by the way, has licorice and salicylic acid in it. I love this for specifically my melasma in conjunction with the uh, pharmacy transamic acid as well as the, um, that's a more of like a liquid toner type product, um, as well as the Hydra Fader from Dermatology that has kojic acid in it. So really for me, it is the combination of azelaic acid, transamic acid, and, um, oh, I'm having a brain fart. Sorry, it's, it's kind of early. <laughs> kojic acid, there we go. <laughs> Kojic acid that really helps to address the melasma that pops up on my forehead. My melasma is triggered by the sun. Um, it's also triggered by hormonal stuff. So it's it's a really good time, you guys. Uh, I just I hate melasma. I just it's really frustrating. It can be very difficult to deal with. And personally, I love hydroquinone to address it during the times when it's really stubborn. But for more like every day. That trio that I mentioned really keeps it in check. Um, so anyway, I can't wait to repurchase that. It's such a great product. Um, if you're on a little bit more of a budget, Peach Slices over at Ulta also offers an as uh, a 10% azelaic acid. I like the texture of the Paula's Choice better, but I did find the Peach Slices to be quite effective as well. So if you don't want to spend the Paula's Choice money, go for the Peach Slices. Next is the Dr. Zenovia hormonal dermatology scar gel treatment. Okay, I had some fibrous papules removed from my face. By the way, I got the bill for that. Oh, I should have asked some questions <laughs> prior to just the doctor being like, yeah, I can just take care of that for you today. And I was just like, oh, that's great. Let's do it, right? I didn't think to ask, how much is this gonna cost me? I mean, I knew I would have to pay out of pocket for it because it's not like a required procedure, if you will. It was totally cosmetic, right? So I had this fibrous papule on the tip of my nose. You can still see the scar there. And right here on my chin, you can definitely see the scar there. And they just bugged me because they were big bumps. They were right on the front of my face. Every time I looked in the mirror, like I would zero in on them. No one ever said a thing to me about the fibrous papules, but they bugged me, right? So anyway, they were sliced off. He literally just took a razor blade and sliced them off. And um, yeah, I got the bill for that. Ooh, 
girl, I <laughs> tell you what, ask questions before you let your dermatologist go ham. Um, so uh, I am left with some scarring after though, obviously. Uh, the chin one is, it's looking a lot better than the one on my nose. I, th I think the one on the tip of my nose is just like, it's in the perfect location to just be like right in the middle, right? So anyway, I'm now addressing the scarring at this point because everything has like fully healed, if you will. Um, so this scar gel, let me read this to you. This is a unique medical grade silicone based formula that helps skin recover by hydrating and creating a protective barrier for an optimal healing environment. Um, Dr. Zenobia actually specifically, she is a dermatologist. Um, she works a lot with hormonal, um, dermatology situations. So a lot of her products are geared towards people that deal with acne. Um, and this is specifically, uh, a, uh, acne recovery cream here or silicone gel. It's, it's a gel texture. Um, this has the regulate 360 complex. I'm honestly, I'm not entirely sure what that is, but you can definitely look it up. Like I said, I'll be linking everything later. Um, there's silicone in here. There's bromelain and papain. Bromelain and papain are very good at helping to soothe and calm the skin. So anyway, I, I've been using this this week because obviously I want to try to fade these scars as fast as possible. I love this stuff. A little bit goes a long way. Obviously, I don't have like a ton of scarring, but that little tiny, you can't even really see it, can you? That little tiny bit right here is enough to cover my nose and the chin area as well it just protects it it hydrates the area and it does make the scars look a lot better i will say so obviously i don't have any long-term results quite yet but i thought this would be a good product to test out to see how the healing goes if it really makes that much of a difference this isn't uh like a cheap product <laughs> But listen, when it comes to healing things up, I'm willing to splurge a little bit more. So we'll see how it goes with this. Um, I mean, yeah, always worth a try, so I'll let you guys know. But I really do feel like it provides a nice protective barrier for sure. Okay, let's move into hair care. I received a PR package late last week. There's this random PR company that will sometimes just send me things out of the blue. And um, a box showed up in my door with some Sasha One products. Now I have purchased Sasha One products in the past. This is obviously a hair care line here. Um, and I really loved their, uh, their shampoos and conditioners especially. I think I also may have tried a leave-in and maybe even a styling product from them. But great line, and um, they came, I don't know if these are new, I'm gonna assume that maybe they're new, but ooh, I, I will be purchasing the full size for sure of the shampoo and conditioner here. I received a full size of the Ocean Mist Texturizing Hair Cream. Now, I've been using this in my hair all week. It really does add a lot more texture to my hair. I use a very small amount, and I work it through my hair while it's still wet, and then I blow dry absolutely adds a little bit more grip to my hair. I'm very fine thin hair, right? Like these, uh, these 57 strands of mine are very, uh, they're a little wispy. So anything that I can do to get like some more texture in my hair, I am all over it. Not that it really mattered this week because for the most part it was up in a bun, but um, big difference. I really enjoy this product and the smell, the fragrance is to die for you guys. It's a very fresh, kind of salty ocean air, slightly perfumey type of fragrance. I'm obviously a sucker for fragrance. So listen, I don't care if my skincare has fragrance in it. It does not irritate my skin. If fragrance irritated my skin, I would most definitely be looking for fragrance free skincare products, but it, it doesn't bother me. So, um, but anyway, um, neither does fragrance and hair care. So my hair smells good. It has a lot more texture to it. And um, I, I didn't know that I needed a texturizing cream, but now I think I might be kind of hooked. So that's just another thing that I added to my routine. But the Sasha Wan Ocean Mist Volume Shampoo and Conditioner, um, they sent me this little sample sizes here. Um, oh, I love this. I love a good volumizing shampoo and conditioner. And I went through these fairly quickly. I think I got either three or four days. I wasn't able to use this today because they're obviously empty. Um, but I did miss this. I, I won. I missed the fragrance in the shower. 
Um, it smells even better when you're in the shower and you know the fragrance warms up. It's just, oh, it's such a good scent. But um, not that that's the only reason to purchase a product. What I really enjoyed about this is that it did give my hair a lot more oomph, a lot more volume. And it really, like, it made a difference, you guys. I really wish that I was able to use this this morning. Um, so maybe with my first paycheck, I'm going to have to get myself a little, a little order of these bad boys here because that is fabulous. If you have fine, thin, flat hair like me, I do think a volumizing shampoo and conditioner can make a difference. Now, normally I use hydrating shampoos and conditioners on my hair. I would not use this full time but I would alternate it with everything else that I love that I already have in my shower. So that is good stuff. Um, in terms of makeup this week, obviously I've kept things pretty simple. I have not done any extravagant eye makeup, so I don't have a palette to show you guys. I basically just did my regular powder foundation routine and um, some, I didn't even put on blush. Oh, well, let's put it on. Okay, this is what I'm using. <laughs> I was like, here I am talking about how I, you know, am using this stuff and I completely spaced it. This is the Lorac um, Pirates of the Par Caribbean collection. Oh my gosh, this, this is pretty old, guys. <laughs> but I honestly didn't even use it that much. So I thought I'd bust it out and use it a little bit this week. I really like these products. Um, I love Lorac blushes in general. Um, but I've been going between the shade Lost Soul and Caribbean. Um, these two right here, I just basically have been doing a little dippy do and then a little color on my cheeks over the powder foundation. And it just gives me like a slight flush of color, helps me look maybe a little bit more alive when honestly I'm pretty tired today. <laughs> been a little bit of a hectic week um so yeah anyway but this is a great blush palette uh like I said this is long discontinued but I don't know I love me a Lorac blush their color source blushes are gorgeous if you want the most perfect neutral shade go for Aura stunning so beautiful anyway there's also some highlighters in here which um, I have used the shade fortune this really light one here just on my lid not today, but yeah, it, a nice glow. They're never too shimmery and her matte formulations, oh, they are so, so good. I'm really glad that Lorac is still around because honestly, I thought this company would have been gone long ago, but they're still kicking guys. They are still kicking. Last thing I want to mention before I go is since I wasn't doing eye makeup, I at least wanted to put on like a coat of mascara just to help myself feel a little bit more put together. So I've just been doing literally one coat of the CoverGirl Clump Crusher, and this is, uh, it's obviously not crazy volume, but it beautifully separates my lashes. It adds that deep jet black color to them, so it just emphasizes my lashes a little bit more. But you can really build this up if you want to. Um, just do a couple of coats, but I really love combining this one. On days where I have a little bit more time, I love taking the Lash Blast um volume from cover girl and pairing the two together this is a holy grail mascara combo who else does mascara combos i know everybody is big on the lipstick combos but your girl here i love me a mascara combo so let me know what your favorite mascara combo is and that is all that i'm going to mention from this week um this this new gig that i'm doing here is not going to be insanely full time It'll kind of ebb and flow just a little bit, but I will be working outside of the house, which I've never done before. So this is, well, I haven't done in a very long time. Um, the last time that I worked outside of the house was right before I gave birth to Stella. Um, I left that, uh, uh, I was working at a uh, at a university. Um, I left that after my maternity leave ended and just started doing florals full time at that point. So um, yeah, anyway, that's what I have for you guys today. <laughs> Thank you for being here. If you are interested in that life update, I'll talk a little bit more in depth about, you know, my thought process in terms of coming back and how this is, you know, gonna look for me on Sunday when I share that video. So if you're new here, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care. Toodaloo.